Alright guys, so this is a Saturday afternoon. This I think this it's about two o'clock. Yeah. So the reason why BJ is not in this video right now is because he's yeah, he's undergoing a punishment because he was very naughty, right? He disobeyed what? He disobeyed mommy, right? Yeah. yeah. I don't know you asked but he was going to, me. he's going to join us in the swimming actually. But he's we are to trying to make it look as though he's not joining us. Right there in the bag, Olivia is holding. Olivia, let's see your bag. His swimming truck is in there. His swimming shades, everything is in there. So we would go with him, but would make him feel as though he's not swimming right. <laughs> We're going to scare him back. Yeah, he's going to say, Yay! 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 I'm so sorry. So, yeah. So, guys, I'm wearing my swimming trunk. Yeah. Underneath my Abaya or Abi by Jalamia. So, this is us. The swimming pool at home. I noticed the security has not claimed it this week. And there are a little bit of dirt inside. So, I said, No, we won't be using it. We just got back from the market though. Yeah. We just got back from the market. We are about making soup. But the weather is so hot. So, so hot. And we want to go swim uh, at the National Stadium. They will come back and continue cooking. Since the swimming pool at home is not good. So guys, see. You see? Just look at that beauty. Look at that beauty. This is what we call what? Fresh Opro. <laughs> Fresh crayfish. It was sent to me from Bayesa by a family member. Guys, see, just hold on. Let me show them. See, see that beauty. This is fresh. When you use this one to cook, the difference is clear. It tastes. It gives to your food. See, my sister is so excited. She can't do it. The only thing with this now is that they work mm, in taking out the shell. That's the only thing. But regardless guys eh and it's what it it is what it i swear like my day has been made and in here i have um uh, crayfish they sent some crayfish for me this crayfish can carry me to january nest here so they are tying it this is our job i don't like touching this thing that's the truth i don't like touching this i'm sort of allergic to the smell yeah right from bed i'm sort of allergic to the smell so Everybody knows at home. That's why she's helping out with it. And look at this fellow. It's a fun Saturday, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be a fun Saturday, right? <laughs> so everybody is warming up to go swimming. So everybody is warming up to go swimming. I've been careful of this thing. Guys, you see, snail, better hold on. Snail is so expensive in Abuja. Is this all? Okay. This and this. It's so expensive in Abuja. I don't know. Maybe I, I might start snail farming very soon. But until then. See, how much this basket of tomato? 2000 It's still high. But by January, it will drop. January, February. Derika, eh, that our customer sells just Derika. Right. It's Derika. Is it alive? So, guys. Um, we're about going um, to the car, so we would head for swimming. My kids are not that perfect in their swimming skills yet, so I have a coach. They or they have a coach over there at the national stadium that teaches them how to swim. For the past two months now, they've not gone for their swimming classes. But with the aid of a swimming ball, right? A swimming ball is it ball? You guys call it a swimming tire? I don't know. With the aid of that, um, <laughs> they are able to swim perfectly well without any supervision. But outside that, swimming on their own without anything or any um, assistance isn't possible. So we are headed. I mean, let me swim more. I don't be so far ahead. I can't make up the money and just the children will be enjoying it. Mm -mm. So, guys, join us as we go swimming. <laughs> All right, guys. So. <clears throat> we're here already. This is how big. <laughs> this is how big the pool in the national st national stadium is. So here is 
Yeah, <laughs> that's BJ. <laughs> and I don't. Um, my sister Olivia and um, Bethel, they are down there, and I'm here disgracing the family. <laughs> disgracing the family as usual, but I'm way better than my sister, though. I wish I can find someone that would um, capture the moment while I swim. This water is very deep. If I drop my phone, it might be difficult for us to get. So I'm still. And the learning process, yeah. Here's my um, swimming aid attached to my body. Oh. So, guys, um, let me just swim along out. <laughs> so, this is my little angel. I'll see you guys. Let me just exercise my um, body a little. If I see someone that can capture uh, the other kids while they swim out, show you guys what their swimming skills is like at the moment. So catch up with you guys. Bye. <laughs> so bye. Bye. <laughs> so yeah, it's better. <laughs> better kick, kick, kick. Easy, easy. Take it easy. Kick. Yeah, go. You're moving. Kick. Yeah. Kick, kick, kick very well. Yes. Yes. Good boy. Yeah, go. Look at BJ. BJ is kicking very well. There is Olivia. Olivia. Look at Olivia down there. The water is so big. It's so big. BJ, leave better alone. Come on. Come on. disgrace. <laughs> big disgrace. Full time disgrace. <laughs> Alright, guys, so we are done. Olivia, did you have fun? <laughs> I could not take my phone into the water. I was looking for someone that can video us, but there was nobody available. So we are done. And we are carrying our ngongo. <laughs> we are carrying our ngongo. I'm so tired. But I had fun. Olivia, you had fun, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Because BJ is pushing me and BJ when BJ wanted to enter the water, he jumped into Bethel's Bethel's floater. Then he drank, he sank. BJ was pushing you. She removed the floater. Then then pushed the This Bethel. one is tired. He just wants to go in there and rest. Guys, we are so hungry. We've not had lunch. I want fried rice. No. We are going home to make noodles so I can cook. I'm not buying anything today. I'm not buying nothing. Okay. On a more serious note there, guys, to be a woman is not a day job. See someone that went swimming that is supposed to be resting, like sleeping her, <laughs> sleeping her life, whatever, <laughs> but sleeping and relaxing, you know, after that vigorous exercise. I'm in the kitchen. Cook. Like, I can't carry over this cooking. As you can see, I can't carry over this cooking. I'm done making the afang soup yeah where's my spoon let me just give you people a quick yeah this is it i'm done making the afang soup and i'm in the process of making my vegetable soup i want this water to dry my panla is quite dry so I want this water to bring it back to life and dry to um, a reasonable size before adding my vegetables and other, and other ingredients. <coughs> and the last soup on my list tonight is uh, bitter leaf soup. And after this, guys, uh, I want to call my husband and see if there's somewhere we can just go and listen to good music and relax. But you see that guy? He might blow my cover.
it's not reliable in things like this but let's see if i can still step out this night and just chillax and enjoy my life i don't know if i'll end this vlog here or i'll show you people what i'm about tomorrow or within the week until then guys i'll show you guys the finished product of my soup see you guys a few moments later all right guys it's um how many days the last clip was recorded on a saturday sunday monday tuesday wednesday it's four days now since the last clip you just saw where i and the kids who went swimming <laughs> guys a lot has been happening a lot has happened um it's 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 sad you know um i don't know if any of you noticed or if i mentioned during the last clip that my kids one of them was having cold i don't know the youngest of them or he was having a little bit of cold but it wasn't so it wasn't I, I don't know for some reasons i just couldn't i don't know it wasn't that serious it wasn't that serious. i just thought it was one of those his tricks or one of his you know numerous tricks to gain attention so we went swimming guys after the swimming um on that saturday he was fine yeah saturday he was fine but on sunday i noticed he woke up not looking so good he was looking darker than usual very dull and when he looks that way i know he's down physically or health wise so i i got him um no i took he said running temperature yeah he said running temperature so on that sunday morning i took him to the hospital because three weeks ago i treated him of malaria and an infection because he had some temperature issues a few weeks ago and so i didn't find it necessary giving him further medications because it's just three weeks away i didn't want to bombard his system because he's still a little um child with so much strong medication so i had to take him to the hospital on sunday so on reaching um on getting to the hospital they said um since it's really not a working day i don't know why it's i don't know if it's like this in um, the western world but but i said since it's sunday that it's not a working day there was no pediatrician on ground and any case that comes in that sunday is considered an emergency so i would have to make a deposit of a hundred thousand naira because he was still eating very well he was still talking very well <laughs> he was still talking very well um and sort of active just the temperature and the temperature and the cough was my only worry i said ah, why should i pay a hundred thousand naira when obviously it's not an emergency i just wanted to see a doctor and you know complain about the symptoms to him and make him understand that i've given him you know antibiotics and anti-malaria um a few weeks ago if there are tests he would recommend we run based on the symptoms that he's having presently so i was like okay that was a sunday afternoon um in less than how many hours it will be a monday so i can bring him bring him in on monday morning so we left um we left on that sunday afternoon got back home everything was fine i gave him suppository for his fever to clofen or something yeah i think something like that so suppository is basically tablets that you insert in the anus so i gave him that to calm the temperature a little and um i got another antibiotics for him without the intentions of giving just to stock up at home but in the evening the temperature became very severe the cough became very severe i was like um though the last antibiotic i was giving to him three weeks ago wasn't the brand of antibiotics that he takes and his system hardly accepts any other brand of antibiotics outside the one that he's familiar his system is familiar with so i'm like is it that the last brand of antibiotics didn't really go well with his system that was my suspicions um so i that evening i was moved to give him 
the antibiotics I got. And guys, we were just halfway into it when he started throwing up. I got a little bit, um, I got a little bit scared and I had to dress him up and took him back to the hospital that evening. So they took him in, you know, set a line for him and ran some basic tests. Yeah, they ran some basic tests. They did some investigations and it was initially that day when his um tonsils were checked, it was good. There was it wasn't inflamed, there were no inflammations whatsoever. But he had some infections. I'm coming to something, guys. So on Monday morning, I realized that my daughter had started coughing too and running temperature. And she was looking very sick so monday evening monday they didn't go to school so monday evening i had to take her to the hospital to they ran some in okay no monday evening when i that monday afternoon here there about when i noticed she had started coughing and running temperature too i gave her so i gave her suppository and um cough syrup yeah i think so i said i was going to monitor it to see if it's something serious um which i ended up looking like something that's very serious i took her to the hospital and they also ran some investigations and realized that she had infection um yeah she had infection um she they did the urinalysis yeah that's the test you do with the urine and they noticed the protein in her urine was very high which was a red flag and they started off you know administering treatment then guys my first son started coughing to a running temperature his was also bad that when we got to the hospital now this is all my children falling sick in a space of two days so getting to the hospital with him he started throwing up and um they also ran some investigation and realized that he has an um, infection now on the day of my first son being taken to the hospital they had to check uh my youngest um tonsils again and real because i was complete when we were there seated you know kids now he came mommy, mommy, mommy. so i was like hmm better you brushed your mouth this morning can i see your tongue you brush your teeth right can i see your tongue he opened it, it was very close. I said, did you brush it on He said, yes, mommy, I brushed. I said, wow, that your breath stinks. That was what I told him. And I think I mentioned it like tries in the doctor's office. I bet your breath stinks so bad. You know, a child now, he would laugh. But I knew what I was saying. So I asked the doctor, can his tonsils be checked again? And guys, when they checked it, it was seriously inflamed. That's in the space of two days, or in the space of 24 hours, his tonsils became very inflamed. And that was how, you know, they placed the three of them. It was very stressful on me, guys. Very stressful. Three children being sick at the same time. Just one. You know how stressful it can be, you know. And we're talking about three. So it became so stressful for me in and out of the hospital. And this, the hospital runs was happening mostly at midnight. Mostly at night. Most times we go to the hospital and come back the next morning. I'm there. I'm here. I'm this. I'm at the pharmacy. I'm at the lab. This, this, this. All thanks to my husband too. He was there a few times, but he had to work. So, but it wasn't easy, guys. But why am I saying these stories to let you guys know why I wasn't able to conclude with the weekend vlog? And um, the reason, the major reason why I'm telling you guys this story on what has happened or what happened i would have just let it go um I'm not really the type that brings things like this up but i'm trying to say this so parents would be considerate of other parents because this stuff happened or started off on friday when i picked better from school but I picked them up from school. That was when I realized he was coughing. But the cough wasn't that severe. And you know, nobody has such at home. So I am very certain that he picked it up from school. So I am begging parents, whenever you realize that your child is 
um, has any symptoms your child has any flu whatsoever or is having any ailment that you know is airborne that can be transferred to the next person please keep your child back at home my kids they've been home since this week in fact they're not going to school at all until the cough the running nose clears completely before i can allow them to go mingle with other children that's how considerate i am of other children parents it is not nice it is not good it is so selfish of you to know that your kids are having or is having airborne disease or having one flu or the other that you know is airborne that can be picked by other children and you would allow that child to go to school what's the child going to learn now risking the life of other children guys you know in course of all of this we had to run covid tests for my children we had to run covid tests for my children and it's the rapid uh, um, covid test yes that was done and each of them i had to pay twenty thousand naira for each person yes this is just to give you a little bit of background of how much i have spent in the past four days just because one parent refused keeping his or her child back home or his or her infected child back home why because i needed to you know um, rule out everything so i had to rule out covid and i needed to be sure that ah they've not picked this covid so guys please or parents please the moment you realize that your child do you know i'm worried guys because see guys I'm not looking good at all. I am not looking good at all. I am stressed out. I am seriously stressed out. My husband is even down as I speak. Yeah, health-wise, he's down. I think he picked the flu. He's down. And I'm, 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 I won't say I'm scared. I have, God won't even allow everybody to get sick because we will look after each other. You get so one person needs to be strong for the rest. But the selfishness of one parent landed my family in this mess. And children, you know, they are they can they can be under my control only when they are at home. But once they are not at home with me, I can't control what they do. You know, kids now, they are very, you know, free spirited. They would want to do everything together with their classmates, play, you know, jump around, share things that are not supposed to be shared. No matter how much children would always be children children would always be children so parents please once you notice your child has an airborne disease or has an infection whatsoever that can be picked by the next person please keep your child back at home call the school and make the school understand why that child can't come to school some people have large families your family might just be you your husband and your child but families that are over eight in numbers and all, you should realize that the eight of them are at risk of being infected. It's not funny, guys. It's not funny. I'm very angry. I had to call the school to tell them that, see, 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 and they apologize. But I am very angry. Most times, some of these uh, 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 um, diseases, they are not even... There's, there's this medical word for it i've forgotten i'm trying to remember where the symptoms don't even show no matter how minute guys no matter how minute the health condition of your child seems please keep that child back at home until you've gotten the right diagnosis of for that ailment and you're very convinced and sure that it's not transferable just keep the child back at home so all that people don't suffer out of your selfish selfishness and negligence it's not funny guys i think i've ranted enough i just got back home i want to go in now um and see what i can prepare for dinner because by 5 30 we should be heading back to the hospital too for their medications this evening it's not easy guys um I know I'm not so lively today because seriously, I am tired. I am exhausted. I am seriously exhausted. But in all, oh, bless God. Um, I would want to take this opportunity, guys, to appreciate each and every one of you that are subscribed to my channel and to those that are not subscribed i appreciate you like you don't know how i feel the engagement in my comment sections it is mind-blowing guys it is mind-blowing i appreciate this love i appreciate the love i never expect it 
<laughs> yeah i never expected it guys i appreciate the love i am so grateful please if you've not already subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for guys please subscribe to my channel and always remember to press the like button you know to encourage me to do more videos like this that if you guys enjoy enjoy rather videos like this and if you are already subscribed oh because of you just take a look again hmm? i love you guys so if you already subscribed to my channel i appreciate the your consistency um you know um on this channel and um please um do well to click on the bell button so whenever i post new videos you would be amongst the first people to be notified i love you guys thank you and thank you again mm -hmm.